How's it going everyone? John here. Welcome to the channel and welcome to a stream elements tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to set up your hype boss. So what you're going to want to do is go down to the plus, go to alerts, go to hype boss, and this is what you're going to see. Now you can customize this, but let's kind of talk a little bit more about it. So with the hype boss, you have four different modes. You have overkill, final blow, increasing HP, and fixed HP. So with final blow, you'll have any excessive damage beyond the boss's remaining health will be added to the new boss. For final blow, the amount of damage done with the final blow will be added to the new boss. For the increasing HP, each new boss will have more HP than the last. And then for fixed HP, every boss will have the same HP. So whichever way you want to set it up, those are your four different modes. Now, how it works is you can have it to where the boss will actually be able to heal themselves. So the boss can heal themselves by tipping, cheering, etc. Or you can get rid of that and you can have it to where when someone hosts, follows, uses bits, subscribes, or uses tips or anything like that, it will deal damage. And you can change all of these types of numbers to go up against the overall health of the hype boss. You can set the hype boss HP for whatever you want it to be. You can auto hide it if you wish to. And then you can have it to where you can mirror it. You can show the image if you want to, or you can get rid of the image completely. As for showing the action text, I'm not too familiar on what that is, but for the actual hype boss way that it looks, you can show the bottom panel. You can show just the health bar if you want to, or you can just have it not show anything at all. And it's just that. So I like to have everything there, just nice, you know, you give it the hype boss name or whatever and have a nice image for it and everything like that. Now, if you ever need to reset it, you can by just hitting the reset boss and it will reset everything for you. So everything like that, see, everything's back to a thousand. And that's pretty much everything getting that set up. Now, if you're wanting to change any of like the style and stuff like that, you can obviously do that here. And if you want to change the text, you can mess with the text over here as well. I go through this stuff in different videos, so I'm not going to go through all of it in every video because a lot of the stuff is self-explanatory once you are familiar with it. But definitely go ahead and take a look at some of those other videos. Now, to bring this in, it's very simple. If you only have this as by itself and it's not within an overlay, then all you got to do is hit save. Click on the little paperclip gear looking thing so that way it copies it. And then we're going to go into Streamlabs OBS. That way we can then add it in. So with Streamlabs OBS, um, I'll show you how to set it up in just a second. Okay, so now that we're in Streamlabs OBS, what you're going to want to do is click on the plus. We're going to go over to browser source. We're going to add a source. We're just going to leave it as that. And we are going to paste it in. But we are going to have to set this up to what we want to make it a little bit bigger. And as you can see, it is there. I can leave it as it is, but if I wanted to set it up to be what it was, then I'll have it to be the full canvas size if I wanted to. But again, you don't have to do that because then you have all this extra, especially if you want to drag it to make it bigger or anything like that. So if you were to delete that, and bring in the browser source again and just leave it at the normal browser source size, you can definitely do that. I just want to show you guys that you can change all that sizing if you needed to, because if you want to make this guy bigger, now you can just make him bigger like that and you can move it around. And that is pretty much how you set up the hype boss and bring it in and let your community have fun and become the hype boss if they are able, if they're able to defeat it and everything like that. But if you guys are wanting to learn more about stream elements, learning more about the uh, tech side of streaming or different educational pieces when it comes to streaming, I have a lot of videos on my channel. Be sure to go ahead and take a look at some of these videos here to get you started. And you guys can also follow me and see more of this type of stuff when I do this stuff live over on Twitch. So I look forward to seeing you guys in future videos or in a future stream. But thank you guys so much for watching and take care.